What? That's so not fair. I can't even believe it. Like, why could someone even like type this on the internet? Hey guys, so two weeks ago I did the off-market Weibo limo tour and I've done like 20 of these investment property tours before. You guys have seen them on the channel as well. But this time the local newspaper gave me a call and they wanted to pick it up as an article and I thought that'd be a cool idea. But you know what it did? It exposed me to the internet. But stick around in this video because I'm gonna be giving away a free ticket to the upcoming Weibo Limo Tour on the 25th of August. All you gotta do is stick around in this video and I'll tell you what to do to have access to it for free and I'll announce the winner on my Instagram. The Weibo Limo Tour has been helping out investors for over three years now and has done over 20 tours in London, Windsor, and Kitchener, Ontario. So guys, I've done over 20 limo tours and I've been helping out investors all across Ontario to purchase real estate and show them sometimes what not to purchase in real estate. The free press wanted to do an article on me and that exposed me to a lot of comments. So let's dive into what was going on in the comment section. If you want to see where the article was, I will link it down in the description. I've done over 20 of these Weibo limo tours before and I've also put on the Ontario Real Estate Conference. I'm here to help out investors. So when the free press called me and they wanted to do an interview on me, I thought it was a great idea. And I thought the article read very well. I got a lot of comments. Even my mom thought it was a great article. But there were some people that thought it was bad. Let's dive into the comment section and see what's going on. Okay, Douglas Dix. He said, the best way to buy real estate is when it's off market. I sold one of mine off market through Jeff. He's very good. Okay, they're not all bad apparently. The public seems to love me. Uh, th this should be pretty easy. Yes, Douglas, I remember I did sell one of your properties off market, a property that you didn't want the local real estate board to be trudging through, bothering all your tenants. You kind of wanted it just sold quickly and we were able to do that off market. Oh, I believe it was on a Weibo limo tour. Sweet. Thank you, Douglas. This should be easy. This is from Londoner Time to Make Things Right. It's a fake hot market created by City Howe and developers. All of Canada is taking a dive in property prices. Do not buy to invest in this market in London. Nothing big or better is coming in. The last people to buy at such high prices will have to bear huge losses due to the property price crash in London. London has many just above minimum wage jobs coming, above then national average poverty rate and high drug use and crime rate. Plenty of land around in southwestern Ontario and places with much lower taxes and better prices. So that's it. It was a big ploy by City Hall and developers to make this hot market in London, Ontario. And Canada is taking a dive for it all. Do not buy properties, people. But there is hope, because Nick S says, fake hot market, lava loud, and the world is flat. And the world's your oyster. Nick S also chimed in, not seeing any signs of settling down, especially in the under 500K level. Looked at houses in the West Mount and in the North, and they sold in 48 hours for way over ass. Bully offers are a way of life in this heated market. Too many people have lost through multiple offers and want to leap in first. Now, Nick, that is very true. It's a very hot market, especially under $500,000 in London, Ontario, and sometimes bully offers are the ones that take it. That has nothing to do with the limo tour, and that's not why we have off-market properties. We're normally just looking at six plexes and 10 plexes, not single family homes. Let's keep going. So we know that there's a cost to go on the limo tour. The limo's not free and it's, it's, it's a day where I don't sign up anybody. Let's hear from Tyler Blank. I can hardly afford rent, let alone pay $100 to go look at places I for sure can't afford. Tyler, Tyler, this is not the tour for you, my man. We are trying to purchase the property so we can find a nice place for you to rent. But if you could come on limo tour or you come to our free networking events, you will also be able to network with us and potentially start to earn and purchase real estate. Tyler, you're, you're just not, it's not the tour for you. I'm sorry. It's, it's not you, it's us. Uh, I'm sorry. Four people like that. Ah, this one comes from a realtor. This does not work. Think of this, put 10 buyers on a bus and show them the property, then three want to buy the same one. Are they customers or clients now? You must arrange before throwing them in the bus, or in this case, under the bus. Cheers. 
Well, thank you, Simon. I have this horrible problem of having too many buyers in my ecosystem. Thankfully, there's people like you with no buyers. Maybe I can give you one of the buyers. Maybe you can offer on one of the properties with them. Or, or let's just say, maybe I did sign them all up as customers instead of clients. What if the six other realtors from different brokerages that I invite on my limo tour, maybe they could help me out? I don't know. We always say problems are profits, and obviously, Simon, you've decided to make it a problem. I'll take all the profit. Thank you, buddy. Vanita Prasad. Hope he pass around my area and throw an offer. Now that's the spirit, Vanita. We need more people like you. We'll come and buy your beautiful property and get it off your hands. Jordan Renner. Isn't there a lady that already does this? The bus is a little smaller, but I've seen it around for years. Jordan, that's called the short bus. That's not what this is about at all. We. The Weibo Limo short bus? Yeah. Maybe we have a spinoff. Maybe St. Thomas or something. Stephen Misfute. Mifsud? Stephen. Stephen Mifsud. This exuberant real estate market is destroying society all over the world. World emoji. Two likes. I'm very sorry that a real estate market is destroying society. Where should people live with? Not not in real estate, maybe? I don't know. S sorry, Steven. Not tracking you on that one, pal. Top fan, Sandra Cromy. Proof some have too much money and too little brains. Nine likes. Sandra, actually, I could probably use a little bit more money, so I don't know if you got some extra. You're obviously able to use two dollar signs in your comment section, and you got a diamond as a top fan. So if you got any extra money, I'd really use it because I'm not really getting rich off the $100 entrance fee to the limo tour when the limos cost $1,200 to $1,500. But maybe yeah, I could probably use some help on the brains as well. Let me know in the comment section, Sandra. Ah, Jillian Dryzen came to my defense. Sandra Cromie, no. Proof that by the time anyone sees something listed, it's sold. Two likes. I get it, it is hard to buy a property in this market, but you guys gotta be like really searching, talking to landlords, going on the limo tours, talking to other realtors, that'll get you guys properties. These people are obviously, well not Jillian, Jillian's a, a good sport right now, but Sandra, she doesn't want properties, she just wants problems. Alex Ovechi, dollar sign, times seven, one like. Okay, so I like dollars. Sue me, Alex. Jordan Detmers, wonder how much Jeff Weibel paid for this glorified ad, seven likes. Well, Jordan, it rhymes with hero. It's called zero. They called me, I swear. I didn't call them, I don't need this. Ah, but now I got Stan jumping in the comment section. Stan Koza, let's see what Stan has to say. Jordan Detmers, it's called advertorial. Costs about double regular advertising. Well, Stan, again, I did not pay for this. They called me. I had done 20 of these. Why would I pick the 20th time to do it? I was already full. People come on my limo tour, I help them out. So take that, Stan. John Pakowski, laugh out loud. Let me get this right. I can pay you to buy stuff from you? Anyone remember Pet Rocks? Paying a hundred bucks for a $3 tee because it has an ad for a shoe company on it? No, actually I don't. Whether or not he said it, Barnum was correct. There's a sucker born every minute. Yes, John, nobody's ever paid for real estate knowledge in the history of Canada and North America ever. They've never heard of Robert Kiyosaki, Grant Cardone, Ty Lopez. You can sit there with no Emojicon, John. Emojicon, John. That $100, John, to come on the limo tour is making sure that you are not coming on the limo tour because you have a bad attitude, John. Skeeter Pallister. Drive by my place and start tossing offers. Two laugh emojis. Now Skeeter has the right attitude. I wonder if my wholesalers would have been reading these comment sections and maybe they would have sent a message to Skeeter. If not, just dirty realtors like me are gonna come and text Skeeter and say, hey, you looking to sell your house, Skeeter? Chris Coyle, that's one like. I wonder what he was mad at. What? Why is it? Why is it bad? Like I'm just trying to help people to come on the tour, and I want them to purchase real estate. And these are people that want to come on our tour, and they want to pay this money, and they want to purchase real estate, and they want to network with people like myself, Matt McKeever, Adam Martin. There's, there's got to be some hope. Like. People just can't write that. That's just ridiculous. Oh, this guy probably is gonna help me out. Nathan Radis. Nathan Radita. Nathan Radisus. Radisus? Nathan R something. What a load of rubbish. Thanks, Nathan. We really helping me out on this one, pal. Really appreciate it. Mike Kurlaski. 
Yeah, only the rich can live in London now. Four likes, top fan. I personally have made it unaffordable for anyone to live in London. Only the rich can do it. Sorry about that guys, this limo tour taking 30 people on it has pushed everybody out of the market. Nikki Lee, cool. Cool Nikki, much appreciated. We'll see you on the next limo tour. Kayla Marie, tagged Katie LaBelle. Here you go, laugh out loud. New way to find a home. And Katie LaBelle never took action. She never messaged me about coming on the limo tour. She never found out about that 32 unit apartment building off market that I had on the last limo tour. Just, where's she ever gonna live? Sorry, Katie. Tiffany Kendall. Oh, Phil Weibo. Smiley face, two likes. Well, I suppose it is called the Weibo limo tour, so we will give my brother credit. He actually ran a limo tour once when I was in Europe. If you guys got Phil on Instagram, make sure you guys send him a message, because I want to see him on the next limo tour on 25 August. Timothy Dawson, tags. Jason Marco, let's ride, laugh. Yeah, let's go for a ride. It's nothing but champagne and deals. What's what not to like? Actually, there's no champagne actually, but just just deals actually, so it's pretty good. Ah, here we go. We got one from uh, Alexandra Graham in my office. She was on the limo tour and she decided to get in on the comments section because she couldn't take it anymore. Alexandra, I went on this tour. Lots of realtors go. Tons of information being shared and a great networking experience. The people leaving negative comments should really go and see for themselves because they have it all wrong. Great comment. Thank you, Alexandra. I, I wonder what the public, they probably liked what you were saying and no problem. Jeff Veenstra, Alexandra Graham. It's obvious you never read the story. Well, Jeff, she was actually on the limo tour, so why would she need to read the story? Because she was on it and she's a realtor and she helps out people trying to buy properties. And why would she jump in the comments, Jeff? Diana, something. Diana, guess you do what you can do to increase your business. So I see it from that aspect. Unfortunately, for those wanting to buy a home to actually live in, this seems to be marketed to investors. So house prices will continue to rise as a result, making it more difficult for those who wish to own their own home. Three likes. Well, Diana, good news for you. We are probably not after single family homes. And if we are, it's gonna be you that outbid us because we want it to do this thing called cash flow and we're never gonna be able to outbid the emotional public. So good news, the Weibo Limo Tour will never steal your single family homes, most likely unless it's falling apart. Then we will try to fix it to bring it back up to the economy standard to put a nice renter in there and the world can keep spinning. Joanne McLeish Wright. I truly question the number of unlisted properties that he is showing. It's kind of like, it's like 10, maybe 11. If, if you're lucky, it's, it's like 11. If someone is trying to get a maximum dollar for their home slash investment, why isn't it open to the global market? Would you take a Rolex to a garage sale or in an auction? Well, Jolene, there's many reasons why landlords decide to sell off market on limo tours or just privately. Sometimes they want it gone ASAP and it's not for the market. Other times the property's falling apart. Sometimes the limo tour is just previewing a property that will be going onto the market. And if the public want to make an offer that day, maybe it just works in the landlord's favor that he just wants to get rid of it. If it's a 10 plex, there might be 10 tenants. And if the person can just purchase it right away, they're not bothering 10 tenants times 10 showings times 10 people that don't even offer, even if it's on the multiple listing service. So there's multiple reasons why we would sell properties off the market. Lorraine Lichtko. I think your business idea is brilliant. Best to you. Thank you, Lorraine. Much appreciated. Vati. I heard rumors about this, but this is insane. One thing I noticed is the amount of times investor or a derivative was used in the article. Vati, why, why is this insane? I've been doing it, it's obviously semi working. It would be insane if it wasn't working and I continued to do it, that would be really silly, but, and I don't understand, like why don't you want me to say the word investor or it's in the article many times. So Vaddy, we actually would like to apologize for putting in the word investor way too much. Actually, the people that have come on my tour are not in investors at all. They're sophisticated investors that make very intelligent purchases. So when I was first coming up with the idea for the Weibo limo tour, I had been on one before and it was on a bus. And if, and if anybody knows me, I like nicer things in life. I've gone through the whole military side of my life. So I've done all the stuff in the trenches. So when I got out, I like the nicer things now. And I like to say that I did a limo tour in Jeff Weibo fashion. And the public took a little bit of a liking to this as Crazy Legs 2 says, reason number 37 why house prices are out of reach for many Londoners in Jeff Weibo fashion. Lovely. And I just wanna say, 
If your realtor doesn't have a little bit of swag, a little bit of confidence to him, then you probably don't even want him or her as your realtor. It's a cutthroat business. And if you can't say in Jeff Weibel fashion, action Hank one in Jeff Weibel fashion, sounds like a very humble person. Well, I was trying to stand out and that's the purpose of a limo tour. I am a realtor among a sea of 1500 other realtors and 50,000 realtors in Toronto. So I do have to stand out a bit. Action, take some action yourself. I can be humble sometimes. And the last one I'm gonna read to you guys, CM023. This should be illegal and chalked up to use car salesman tactics. Families can't afford to get ahead and find anywhere to live and the rich are driving around in limos, scooping up the only lower priced homes they had any hope of being able to afford. If you're buying extra properties as an investment these days, you're effectively causing your friends and neighbors to fall behind and others to become homeless. Greed is the worst. These days bots had to chime in, especially these days. So buying extra properties is making people homeless? but the purpose of buying these properties is to put people into them so that they can rent them and potentially these are the people that aren't wanting to purchase properties or cannot afford to purchase properties so i'm sorry cm fine you win you win yes i am stealing all the properties i am so sorry but thank you guys so much for watching it was pretty cool to go through all these comments here you guys let me know where i am off my rocker down below that'd be great and okay you guys want a free ticket to the weibo limo tour on the 25th of august all you gotta do is comment down below weibo limo 25 august in the comment section and i will pick one of you guys at random you guys can come on the limo tour for free and you can see what all these comments are about and you'll see if it's actually a really good day we have a lot of good videos coming out about the limo tour and we have some previous ones so make sure you guys check those out really appreciate it guys hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and we'd love to catch you guys on my next video. Bye.